Hi guys, welcome back to another grocery haul day. We just got back from the Albertsons um, up in the road and we, we really like it there. We get some good coupons then. The people there are always so very kind and nice. Um, I wanted to start off to let you see. This is our meal plan for the week. I try to go kind of Monday through the Monday or whatever day that I decide I need to go on. And here's the they're the snacks that I'm going to make for the kids this week. They love the pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. Let's get our grocery stuff and then we'll have them, okay? we got to find them. But um, since I usually try to make a, uh, put seven uh, meal plan, and then it usually lasts about two weeks because we do some leftovers throughout the day. Like tonight, basically, it's going to be um, leftovers chili no leftover taco soup that I made and what we do is we'll, we kind of make our own little version of Frito pie with it we'll put the Fritos the the taco soup on top of it and then we'll have some cheese on top of it very simple and it's really easy to do leftovers on Monday and Wednesday due to the kids having their after school activities I think you're going to be a little lopsided because I have y'all propped up on a pot, an oatmeal thingy, and two measuring cups. So if I'm lopsided, I apologize. Um, I have a tripod on order soon, so hopefully it'll be used. <laughs> Let's get started. We got some apples for the kiddos' lunches. Um, some broccoli. This I make some uh, mac and cheese, and I sneak some broccoli in there. It's really, really good. And then we have our favorite trail mix. I get two of these. We love these. These are our favorite. Um, what else was in there? Was that all in there? Oh, we got two. There's the second one. Yeah. And then we got our meat for the week. They were having another sale, so I went ahead and, sorry. We got our meat for the week, so I went ahead and got two. Mom, that one or that one? Yeah, they're both the same, aren't they? So we got some ground beef. We do that um, 85.15. Um, one is a dollar cheaper. And two, it really doesn't matter. So you can always just drain the fat out when we need to. It is right there. These two. You want some blue and green? How about orange, red, blue, and green? And then, oh, you need a yellow one too. Get the yellow one. Can you find a yellow one? Yes, ma'am. Good job. I need brown one. Um, let me see. Let's see if we can have a brown one up top. <gasps> there we go. A brown one. Okay. You got it. She's going to sort them out. Alright, let's put these over here. Mommy doesn't knock them over because I'm real good at that. Um, so we got the ground beef. <laughs> we, got, uh, we get the Italian sausage and we do a lot of cooking with these. Sometimes I'll make meatballs with these. Sometimes, sometimes I'll um, just get some cream cheese um, and some spinach and mix it all together. And, supper. I try to sneak in vegetables when I can. And then um, we do fajitas, the sheet pan fajitas. So I got some skirt steak on that one. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, some snacks for the kids lunch boxes. Matthew really likes these. These are the um, Kashi Superfood Bite. Really, really good. This is the chocolate one. They have a mixed berry one, but Matthew's hello, not a real hello, fan hello. of his berries being mixed in his food unless it's a smoothie. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> He'd much rather eat the berries by themselves, but he really likes the chocolate one. Hi, Mommy. Hi, baby. Some chipotle peppers to go in our chili for Friday. This is the cream cheese that I use for um, the Ooh. Italian meat uh, <laughs> cream cheese spinach mixture. And that mixture is really, really good because you can actually put it in stuff um, in manicotti shells and put some spaghetti sauce over it. 
in some um, cheese over it, and it's really good. We call those our stuffed shells. And some chocolate chips to go in our uh, pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. KK's favorite snack are her little cheese slices. We love these. Those are the slices, though. Those are like the little cheese snack pack things. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. We got some vegetable broth to go for our chili. I got two of those. Let's see what else we got here. Let me start down here. Um, oops, got some pinto beans. We really like this brand. This brand is really, really good. The Green Valley brand. Um, some black beans. We got two of those. And then we got the kiddos some applesauce to put in their lunch boxes. They really like these. We got two of those. Uh, oh, here comes our Friday treats. The kids, Matthew, really, really like these uh, pizza lunchables. And Maddie likes the uh, turkey and American lunchables. She really likes those. They get to have those in their lunches on Friday just as a special treat. I know I've said that before. Um, some watermelon. They like the oh. <laughs> some cheese. And then, oh, oh, Mama almost dropped them all over the place. Ah! Some yellow bell peppers. We need one for our fajitas and one for our chili, huh? And then, again, guilty pleasure. Some hatch green chili queso from Albertson. We love it with the Juanita chips and woo, so yummy. Makes a great, great snack. And then some juice boxes for the kiddos. They were on sale. Mom, I got chocolate chips. You did find the chocolate chips. You're so good. I want some. Huh? I want some. Well, let's get our grocery store and I'll let you have a snack, okay? Some strawberries. Uh, ooh, some grapes. Matthew loves grapes. He likes, he doesn't matter what color it is, if he likes them. I want it, I want it, I want it now. No, we can't eat it now. We gotta save those for a muffin. We got some orange bell peppers. And some red bell peppers. The kiddos, the more likely to eat the colored green, uh, the colored bell peppers, as opposed to just the green ones. I want ones. cheese now. You want a cheese now? Okay. Uh, they are a little bit more expensive. I'm not sure why the colored ones would be more expensive than just the normal, just the plain green ones. They are a little bit more expensive, but if it'll get my kids to eat vegetables, I'm not even going to complain. It's just. It's not that much more expensive. No, no. And so that works for us. Another one of our little the cheese block me. Of course, our favorite, favorite, favorite yogurt. We love, love, love this brand right here. <coughs> Excuse me. I bake with it all the time. The kids eat it as a snack or for lunch all the time. We love that brand. It's so super yummy. Another juice box. Uh, for the kiddos' lunches, um, the Tillamook block cheese. We love Tillamook brand. They're so good. We love it. We love it. We love it. Um, I got my butcher. I've been kind of off on my health kick, so I've been trying to slowly get back into it, which is for another video. I'm going to film another one. I will. Thank you for asking. There we go. Can you get it out of the package, or do you need help with that? Um, get out of this package. Okay. Um, but I need to get back into it. This is my favorite brand. It's the Health Aid Kombucha. Uh, the Maca Berry. They have a Power Green flavor that I absolutely love, but they were sold out of that one. Um, but I like the Maca Berry flavor, and I love, love, love the pomegranate flavor. Really, really good. Thank you for giving me a try. That was so kind of you. And um, we got that. Uh, <laughs> we got some tortillas. Again, our favorite brand. I don't, it's almost like it's the closest to homemade tasting tortillas that we could find. And we just love it. Absolutely love it. Some more of the vegetable broth. 
and the kiddos I'm not really I'm not I don't really like those juice um, the fruit and juice cups right here but the kiddos have really gotten to where they like them and honestly they're real Daddy, easy to put in there that's mama yes that is mama um, to put in their lunch boxes oh Luna 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 <laughs> Luna is trying to help me with the camera here thank you for handing me the glass we don't want those to break that was a very very smart decision thank you um but the kiddos like them they're easy to put in their lunch boxes and I try to get the less sugar ones that I can find with like, the less added stuff into it. Um, but again, it's some it you know there's worse things they could be eating I guess. Right? All right, so let's see here. What's next bag? Up. Got a loaf of bread. We really like this brand. It's the um day soda bread brand. We really like them. The thin slice one's really good. Uh, Maddie has gotten on to these. These are really, really good. It's like the um, Nutri-Grain bars, basically. Uh, but she really likes those. To have those in her lunch box. The kiddos also, we, love, we eat peanut butter spoonfuls, but for lunch boxes, these are amazing. They definitely work, especially for snacks on the go when the kids, when we're going to karate or cheerleading. Those are great snacks for me, guys. Some Fritos for a Frito pie. Uh, oh, and some honey. We had a little honey disaster. My precious little ones built a huge bottle of honey in the pantry, and that was really, really fun to clean up. And this was, I usually get the bigger size, and I'm not exactly certain why I got the smaller size. Does it make, I guess I was just not paying attention. Oh well, I guess I want you live in the Hello! <laughs> you say hi to our friend. Yeah. And then my phone. We got some Hello. Hello. Some Juanita chip tortilla chip. These are our favorite. Um I've only been able to find them at Albertsons. I'm sure they're sold in other stores. Um at least down here. Now up in uh when we went up to Washington, they're everywhere. So Washington, that's where Washington. Based out of. Um, the fruit snacks, the kids love these fruit snacks. We got the mixed berry kind and then the fruit medley kind. These are really good. Um, I want it. You want everything, don't you? You ate your cheese really fast. You must have been hungry. Another kombucha. I get three, they say you need to drink like eight ounces a day. And those are, and just one second, sweetheart. And those are 16 ounces, so I'll drink half one day, the other half the next day. Um, that way they'll kind of last me a little longer. Excuse me. Please get it, you can hold it, but we cannot open it just yet, okay? I know you want it. You can have some with your lunch. Give me just one second. Some animals. The kids love those. Again, I know not exactly the best thing to give them, but what are you gonna do? Albertson. I was so excited to see this. Albertson have been not selling the Ripple milk forever, 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 and we love that flavor. And I found one, and we got the chocolate milk one. I'm not. Oh, glitter. I'm not sure exactly how good this is gonna taste because I've never seen the chocolate Ripple before. But, since my kids love chocolate milk, we thought we'd give it a try. And then, see, we get the original Ripple. Now, these are pretty pricey. They're pretty expensive. Um, but, you, it's 48 ounces of milk. And I noticed, my husband's lactose intolerant. Madison is showing signs of it. And the less dairy that I'm able to put in her body, she loves loves milk and so we, I try to kind of ration it out a little bit for her so it doesn't hurt her tummy and so when we first moved to El Paso and I found the ripple milk I found I didn't really tell her that I changed it or whatever and she liked it it was no big deal and when we found it I noticed she was having a little less tummy issues and then of course Albertson decided that they weren't going to sell it anymore or 
or something happened, I don't know, but they haven't had it for like almost six months. It's been crazy. And um, she started kind of having some issues again, so we, we kind of backed off a little bit. And once we backed off a little bit, it got better. So she's going to be excited to see that she got her milk back and she doesn't have to have be quite as rationed off on it. Again, they are expensive. I think Albertsons, I'm going to die when I tell you the price. Albertsons sells these for $5. $5. Um, so <laughs> it's very pricey. Um, but it's worth it to me because I know that they as Madison is a milk drinker, that they're getting a better type. I don't know. I can't explain it. It's better for her. It's, more, it's um, I love dogs. protein. I love it's plant based for one. <laughs> it's protein based. There we go. Um, it doesn't have as much sugar in there, and there's some omega threes in there that can help with their um, brain function and some of the myelation for their eyes. Um, so that. That's worth it to me. Um, I do have coupons and things like that to help me kind of save money on the other things that I buy to kind of help offset the cost of the ripple. So basically, I just spent ten dollars on milk. What are you gonna do when it comes to the health of your kids? You know what it's like, right? Um, let's see. I think that's and this is the last one. This is basically what I call the toiletries bag. We need oh yes, some disposable spoons to put in the kids' lunch boxes. That way, they don't keep throwing away the spoons from home. Mommy, Madison and Matthew and KK, we were all due for new toothbrushes. So these Mommy. are the girls. And this is Matthews. Mommy, yes, ma'am. Mom, okay. Um, I got my toothbrush, my toothpaste brush. This is a toothpaste I like to use. Um, it's really good. Got these for the kiddos. Mom. I like the Tom's brand because you can actually read the ingredients and then kind of understand what it is. And there's not like added dyes and sugar and stuff like that in it. So that's why we do it. Because it's toothpaste. Why does there need to be dyes in there? Why does there need to be added stuff in there when you're Mama. brushing your teeth? It doesn't make sense to me. And here's my toothbrush I got. Plain and simple. What, baby? I'll help you. Oh, thank you. So that's it for our grocery haul. I am going to get this stuff put away. Um, enter my information into the Ibotta app that I use. Again, love the Ibotta app and the Checkout 51 app. You know, I'm not able to use that as much as I'd like because they don't always have all the things that we do get on there. But the Ibotta app is amazing. I'm usually able to, to get a few, get a few bucks back. Move that, move that. What do you need, sweetheart? Please move that, Grandma. I will in this one. Please move that. I will. I'll move it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching us on our grocery haul. Don't forget to join us on Facebook. Uh, not Facebook. Instagram and Twitter and we hope to see you guys in our next video. Thank you so much for stopping by.